Hey, my creative tribe. So, I am trying to adjust my camera there. So, as some of you know, I have been working on a game for about three years and failing. Uh, trying to use Unreal Engine. I bought another computer. Great gaming system, but it's not great for um, running Unreal Engine for what I'm trying to build. So, I, this coming year, I'm building a new system. Top of the line. It's probably going to take me all year to build. Uh, but it'll finally do Unreal Engine. But in the meantime, I do, you know, I do 3D printing, which you can follow me over on TikTok and uh, Clapper, uh, Facebook for that. But I am, uh, where, did, where to go? So I am starting to learn a new game. Or game system. It's, uh, it's very simple. Uh, well, I shouldn't say simple. It's pretty complex from what I'm been, uh, learning, but uh, I've only played with it for like 15 minutes. So we're just going to start uh, learning this, and hopefully I'll, I'm sure I'm going to make lots of errors. I'm going to struggle. So hopefully, if you want to do RPG in a box, uh, this might help. Uh, or you might be able to help me in finding what I'm doing wrong. So let's start a new game. Uh, we're going to call it Error. Oh, cap blocks are on. Alright, and let's set it to D. External drive there. Okay. Alright, now we want a blank project. So we can have all kinds of stress and fun. <laughs> Okay, now this is the voxel editor. Uh, let's create new. Now if I remember right from the few tutorials I watched, um, that this is for the player. So, um, and I didn't bring my notebook in. Uh, what did I name the robot? Um, I know what the main system is. I'm trying to make a space game, so uh, I'm trying to remember the name. Goodness, uh, it was. Well, now I don't want to have to go get my notebook. It's way out in the car. All right, well, we're going to have to think of a name. All right, let's... I like using references from fiction, so... Let's go... Fictional... Robots. Of course, R2-D2 comes up a lot. Uh, but I like older... Uh, Let's try this list here. That's R2, D2, C3PO. We're not using those. Uh, we just want a list. I think I found the name on a list before. Um, oh, yeah. It was an old robot. I think it was from the 60s. Wally. There's Hal. Data. Robbie. That's that's it. That's who we're going with. Robbie. My chair keeps wanting to roll back. Alright, and I don't want. Okay. Students be allowed to walk in this tile by default. So like, pass them. Oh. Okay, so this is not the character builder, is it? Um, I thought it was. Effect. I'm pretty sure that's it. Okay. Oh, there's characters. Okay, so I'm not in the right one. So let's delete that one. 
because that is not going to be right. Alright, we'll come back to that. And can I delete it? I think I can delete it from here. Yes. Okay, so that is... So how do I get to characters? Okay, box editor, map editor, script editor, dialogue, uh, items, quest, combat, stats, documentation. Quick play, assets, imports. It. Where is the character sheets? All right, uh, let's go to game manager. And I guess I should have kept one of those in there. Uh, let's default example game. Oh yeah. Um, training. Okay. And okay. All right, now how do I get to characters? Okay, that's the map, start up, file, dialogue editor. Yeah. Combat stats. All right. Uh, I've watched all these. Well, most of them. But. All right. Where is character? Okay. So it is voxels? Try that again. Okay, so it is voxel editor. Twenty by twenty by twenty. Okay. Um. Uh, did they move him? Okay, name, color, portrait, default, standard. Okay. Well, let's go to my game. So, voxel editor new. And it's 20 by 20. Oops. By 20. Panel name. Okay. Robbie. Should characters be allowed to walk on? See, I don't think I'm doing something right. Because that doesn't sound right. So that should be under characters. So, what am I doing wrong? Um. Alright, well, I guess it's tutorial time. Uh, let's see. And the next branch unfolds into the darkness. I turn into an owl and fly up to see what's ahead. Your flight disturbs it. a swarm of bats. All right, all right, to the bridge. Okay, you make it. And the stone giant crumbles. A wicked fire-shaped stone. Sorry about that. Barrier. And a massive minotaur sephra awaits you on you. Hello, I'm Stumpy the Squirrel. Let's make a game with RPG in a box. In this first tutorial, we'll set up our project and learn how to create me in the voxel editor. Right. Let's get to this how to make a game from scratch. Then choose character from the type drop down. Oh, okay. Enter Stumpy for the name. I was in the right area, but not quite there. So, let's delete that. Box, uh, okay. Character. New roof, isn't that what they? 
Okay. Robbie. Oh, it's right here. Duh. <laughs> it's right there. Okay. So you choose it as you choose the name. Duh, duh. All right. Let's. Okay. All right. Well, we'll just have to kind of work with the tutorial. Change the width to 17, so I'll click a tab. This tab displays your game's characters. Hold the right mouse button and drag to rotate. Okay. Hold the middle mouse button and drag to move. The scroll wheel zooms in and out. All right, basic stuff. Ensure that the so where are you getting the color is selected, or press F1, then Aha. choose a medium gray from the pack. All right. Now, I do want to try to do this as much as I can. I mean, I'll have to use the tutorial here and there. I learn better on my own sometimes. Sometimes not. Okay. Uh, no, we. I know the color we want is like a silver. And I believe silver is that. Now, I want to take a look at their size. Alright, so it's two blocks by one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Okay, so five, six, and four. I do like being able to switch between stuff really quickly. It is really nice. Okay, what? Oh, I didn't delete that one. Okay. Let's go character. Alright, um. So the foot was, oh shit, I didn't count, well, let's go black for the foot, okay, so, Change the color. Alrighty. Three, four. Five. Let's go one, two, one, two, um, too much. Okay. Now we gotta go back to this color. And the body should go one, two, three, four, five. I can 
drag it. So, okay, let's go ahead. Go ahead and save this and let's take a look at theirs again. Oh, I thought I saved. Damn it. Did I not save? Oh, I didn't save. Alright. I thought I saved. I hit Control S, so it should save, but I guess I maybe didn't get it clicked right. Alright, so yeah. So I got the basic build. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's four. And the shoulders drop down one. Okay. Well, shall we try this again? It's not working this time. Control Z was working, so I don't know. Maybe my keyboard's failing me. Okay, five. Nope, that worked. It's going to sit right there at four. Three, four. All right, and let's add his arm. Um, 
now. Let's make those arms a little bit longer. This is going to be a robot, so. Oops. Uh, is that what I need? Nope. Okay. Let's give him a Okay, this is the idle animation. So you want to watch that. Have you wanted to play D&D, but it all seemed a little bit too overwhelming? Well, don't worry. We got your back. Roll20 makes it easy to play D&D online for free anywhere in the world. <laughs> Hello, I'm Stumpy the Squirrel. All Let's right. make a game with RPG in a box. In this tutorial, we'll create an idle animation for me and the voxel editor. Let's get started. Start up RPG in a box and open me in the voxel editor. The animation toolbar is located along the bottom of the editor. Right. It's simple to create an idle animation using only two frames. Let's start by copying the current frame. Click the duplicate frame button or press Ctrl D. As you can see, there are now two frames with the new one currently displayed. Switch to the Select Voxels tool, or press F6. We're going to put bends into my legs, so first drag and select from around the middle of my legs upwards. Okay, so there's th three tiles deep. Good. That'll now work. either hold control and drag, or use the button pad. Okay, now I need to make sure I'm saving my work. So I need to go three deep, which works well for me, because there was an issue I realized I didn't take care of. Um Oh no, it's only one wide, okay. Legs are only one wide. All right. Those are only one wide. 
Oh, because there are only three. Boy. No. Okay, we need to save this. There we go. There's save. I need to go back and look at their main character. Yeah, it's two, two. They're just doing a simple one there. So, I can. That's only two wide, three wide, four wide. Okay. So we can go back to, yeah, we can just add it here. Oops. I do like having the, just the two wide on. Let's save this. That'll work. Okay. Now, where? There it is. Okay, so now. Okay, duplicate. Okay, that's frame one, frame two. Okay, I guess they look good there. Oh, wait a minute, I just... Just screw that up. Okay. Let's delete this frame. Duplicate. Okay. Alright, so we want to go one, two, three of those. Two, three. Change it to black. Starting to get a little bit of the workflow here on this. Okay, let's duplicate again.
I really think this is going to be kind of fun once I get the hang of it. Um, of course, we're just starting, so a long ways to go with it. Oops. back end make it Actually, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll just change the color. Oops. Why is it making it that cutter? Fine. Let's make go back one. Yeah. Oh, because it's doing it. It's doing what it's supposed to. Duh, David. I'm getting tired. It's getting late, so I'm not going to work on this much longer. <laughs> I would like to get the idle animation done. Okay. Save. Right, now we need to watch how to panel in the corner to move the selection down by one voxel, two voxels, the other knee, voxel, my arm, to move to skip arrows, but also down it. Click the add animation button on the toolbar to be right. You can also press control plus the left navigating. Let's move voxel, 
then deselect them. Let's bend my arms in a similar fashion. For each arm, select the two center voxels and move them away from my body. Press escape to deselect all voxels when you're done editing. Clicking the blue arrows on the animation toolbar will navigate through the frames of your model. You can also press Ctrl plus the left or right arrow key. Now that we're done editing, let's tell the editor we want these frames to be my idle animation. Click the Add Animation button on the toolbar. Mm -hmm. Now push to neglect all voxels when you're done editing. Clicking the blue arrows on the animation toolbar will navigate through the frames of your model. You can also press Ctrl plus the left or right arrow key. Now that we're done editing, let's tell... Alright, so let's go... Okay, we want to copy the first frame, but how do we put the first frame at the last? Let's try... Can I change the order of the frames? when you're done editing. Clicking the blue arrows on the animation toolbar will navigate through the frames of your model. Okay, they're you just going back and forth. You can also press control plus the left or right arrow key. Now that we're done editing, let's tell the editor we want these frames to be my idle animation. Click the add animation button on the toolbar. Now click the magnifying glass to select from a list of predefined animation names. These are special animations that are tied to certain events. For example, a character's idle animation automatically plays when they're standing still. Ensure idle is selected, then click OK. As configured, the animation will start on frame 1 and end on frame 2. Since the type is loop, the animation will go back to frame 1 and repeat. This is precisely what we want. However, Let's slow me down a bit by decreasing the speed to two frames per second. Click OK to finish defining the animation. If you need to adjust any settings for an animation, you can do so from the model properties panel on the left. Okay. Idle. It's not just, okay, I gotta go back. We want. However, let's slow me down a bit by decreasing the speed to two frames per second. Click OK to finish. I'll try the recommendation. Okay, now. I don't think I can play because I don't have a map. Uh, okay, yeah, I got quite, quite a bit. But I think I'm happy with it. Okay. Is there no way to just test it without playing it, though? Defining the animation. If you need to adjust any settings for an animation, you can do so from the model properties panel on the left. 
save your model, then click the play button on the toolbar to test out the animation. Oh, I can't because I don't have a map or script. Congratulations, your Stumpy now has an idle animation. Quite simple, isn't it? Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Alright, guys, I think this is going to be it for the night because I am really, really tired. But, I think that works well. Alright. Oh, let's save. Okay, it's saved. So for now, you all have an awesome night. Create something awesome, and I'll see you.